Well, 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 you're still watching JC Sako. My name is Miriam Marsama, the host with the Holy Ghost, Caruza, Zaga, Zaga. Hey, I'm <laughs> speaking tongues, but anyway, find me on across all social media platforms, our video, Marsama. Instagram, Twitter, X, Zote, TikTok. Utani pata kule follow me, I'll follow right back, especially now. Hey, Nix mm -hmm. the President. Me, Tafanya, appear the same. I'll <laughs> follow back, Nix the President, kila mahali. <laughs> Amazing. Tumekuto ukambani, tukakupeleka wapi? Shua! Nigeria, we are like that. Here on JC Sako, we are like that. But anyway, I am hoping you enjoyed the dance moves by Jonathan, because he's here with us. Jonathan, we had missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. You're like one of us here, we had <laughs> missed you. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. Right? It's, it's uh, been a, a, a one minute here. <laughs> I like the way it listens. One minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to be back here. Uh -huh. It's really great to be back. Have you been? Very well. It's been interesting mm. enjoying the process. Um, it's been an amazing season. You know, um, lately I've been studying the ego. The how eagle. the ego has mm. 40 years and after 40 years it needs to get into the mm. mountain to yeah. hibernate the mm. beak mm -hmm. move feathers mm. and come out fresh but mm. you see it sounds very interesting but mm. it's it's a painful process mm. and i think we as christians need to get to that point where we understand that sometimes the pain is what pushes us to the next level mm. Mm. so i thank god for where i have been it's been a place of retreats mm -hmm. check back with god and the holy spirit see where he's directing us to and we are out. Mm. Jonathan, Jonathan <laughs> took an introduction and said I preach, but we see my beer, we see translate. Don't translate this to him. <laughs> but anyway, it's the 40 years relating with you anyhow, mm. somehow. Mm. You turned what, Jonathan? Yeah. The, your birthday was the other day. Me, yeah, I'm young. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, we've touched that fourth floor. Uh -huh. do, do we look it? God be all the glory. It's the glory, glory of God. The Lord is doing his thing. The counter is harder. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Bless God, though. But anyway, Jonathan, for those guys that are meeting you for the first time, give us an amazing introduction. My name is Jonathan Kome. Kome means the gift from God. I'm a Nigerian Kenyan um, by, by unction and direction God, that God has placed upon my life. I'm one who is sold out to Christ. Um, one who John 5.30 operates with. I could of myself do nothing except by the leading of the Holy Spirit. I do music, mm. but I'm a minister of the gospel. And for some reason, the gate God has given to me is the area of music. Um, I'm a lover of souls, and that's why I, I yield myself to God to be like the wind, to make sure that whatever sound he puts in my ear, whether it's what's trend, even if, if it's not what's trending or it's trending, I just move according to what God has laid in my heart. I'm based in Nigeria. I was formerly based in the UK until God told me it was time to move. So I was a missionary, basically. I was moving to Nigeria, the South Africa, and London until God told me Kenya is the land for me. So I'm here fulfilling prof prophecy. So I'm fully into music. I'm a minister of God. I worship with Ruach West. Um, I'm in the worship team there. Um, and it's been an amazing, beautiful experience here in Nairobi, Kenya. So now Kenya for me is a takeoff zone. So from here, I go do ministry, come back, go mm -hmm. do ministry, come back. But it's an interesting season of my life because I thank God because, you see, when God told me it is here, I'm like, how? <laughs> and then it's amazing because I'm mm -hmm. beginning to see that yes. when God says we're the light of the world, we also need to be careful and attentive to know where God is sending that light to. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for what he has done in my life. So my name is Jonathan Kome. Kome is with a K, not double O. Meru <laughs> is double O. Mine is one O. And that's how you find me on all platforms. Jonathan until, until, Kome. Yeah. Until you know... Mary is double O. Yes, I, I know. <laughs> they, so would, they, would, they try to give me <laughs> one name. Uh -huh. I say it's not no. working. <laughs> it's not key. He says it's in like, mm. <laughs> You refuse in No, no. We're, We're still waiting on the Lord to give us a name. My name is Jonathan Kome. Kome. Yes. Uh, Kome is a good name. Kome so is a good name. Thank you. you say you travel a lot. Yeah. You go out, do missions, come back. Yeah. But Kenya now, Kenya is now your place. Yeah. What kind of ministry work do you do outside? So one of the things mm. I've realized mm. is um, we've stereotyped worship. We've made worship feel like ah, it's the pads, it's the strings. Yes, it's there, but you mm. see, we're losing the Gen Zs. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, I'm tired of coming to church and I'm only seeing your face. I want to go to church and I'm seeing new faces. When I see new faces, I know mm. heaven is rejoicing. Mm, yes. So we've, we've, we've made worship suitable for ourselves because we're in truth, which is good. But you see, when I want to catch fish, you have to have a worm. Mm. So how do we get to the Gen Z's? Because the reason why we're losing the Gen Z's is people of the world know how to speak the language they understand. So are we attentive, attentive enough to know what God is telling us to tweak 
tweak it, tweak it. Because at the end of the day, we're like CIAs for kingdom. <laughs> so God is changing the roster. Are we listening? So for me, it's been a beautiful experience traveling, meeting young people. Mm. Uh, I thank God for the kind of structure I have where you can't tell these guys. So they think I'm one of them. <laughs> and, and we talk. So yes. it's been a beautiful experience because mm. I got to understand that when the Bible says learn how to abase and abound, it's not just when you have food, when you have food. Also, in the area of knowledge, I'm able to sit down and still learn from the young ones, mm. see where they are. I think one of the problems we've had, I have learned so far, is sometimes with the whole knowledge you have of the Bible, there are times where you need to calm down and listen because there are some things you get to see that you never saw mm. because your own view is here. Mm. We need to calm down and see from their own point of view. So that's what has happened for me in my moving around. It's been a beautiful and humbling experience for yes. me. Yes. Yeah. Matters kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> Let us talk about Gen Z's because these people are special. Very special. You can see they handling the cameras. Yeah, I can see them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is one secret on how to relate with Gen Z's? Fold your age and put in your pocket. Ah. Mm -hmm. Does don't, it work? I've don't, tried. Don't approach them yeah. with the angle of you know it all. Especially millennials. You to find deal with, yeah, to you deal find with them, it very you have hard to, to relate to the Gen Zs. Yeah. yeah. You, you mm -hmm. see, there's something that happens when I feel I'm older than you. Mm -hmm. I, there's a part of me that feels you must listen to me. Mm -hmm. And that's why we lose them. So for us to deal with the Gen Zs, we need to be humble to listen to them. We need to listen to them. So when we listen to them, you get to see certain areas that God will want you to shine light. And when that time comes, God will give you the wisdom on how to approach them. We need to be wise. And the only way we can be wise in regards to kingdom, we have to be one with the Holy Spirit. So when I'm approaching someone who is young, I don't go, eh -heh, you know, I'm older than you. I have walked this journey before you. No, no, no. How are you? How's it been? What's your view about Christ? Mm -hmm. What's your view about the church? Why don't you like going to church on Sunday? What do you think is wrong? You hear them. And hearing them doesn't mean you have a, a solution at the spot. Mm -hmm. Hearing them means, okay, you take it back to God. Father, this is what these people are saying. What's your wisdom regarding this? Because I don't know what the Bible says, he's like the wind. So if he's like the wind, it means he can change. Yeah. Am I sensitive to know when the wind has mm. moved, when Christ is showing me a different direction? Today you say, ah, don't wear, don't wear a denim jacket to church. At that days, God is telling you as a pastor, <laughs> for once, wear sneakers and come to church. <laughs> you understand? So mm. for me, one of the things I've learned in dealing with these people, we have to be very sensitive and attentive to the Holy Spirit mm. and not religion. Because yeah. that's what is making us lose them. Mm. Is the religion that's scaring them away. Yes, they are sharing with someone. Yeah. But I think the reason why prayer is not effective is because we approach the throne of God thinking religion. And that's why I get tired. If a guy and a woman have a relationship, yeah. check it. When he's doing the late night calls with her, when it's getting he's getting dizzy, he doesn't want to tell her he's dizzy. He's still talking. <laughs> so what then happens when you're praying? Mm. For prayer, you're meant to be having, that kind of discussion you have is the same rapport God wants. Uh -huh. Talk with him. Just to Father, this thing that came yesterday, that's prayer. Prayer is not our, kneel down. In, no, 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 no. <laughs> Communication with God. So when you approach it from that angle of a relationship with God, mm. you don't get bored. You don't get tired. Because mm. you never get tired talking to your G. Mm. You never get tired talking to the woman you want to get married to. Mm. It's the same relationship you mm. have with Christ. That's why he calls, calls us his bride. Mm. We talk with him. And it's a mm. constant thing. Mm. It's not, okay, 12 o'clock is when I will pray. No, you're driving. <laughs> Father, this is in my head. How do I go about this? Mm -hmm. Father, ah, this guy did this to me in the office. How do I approach this? That's prayer. Yeah, that's you prayer. find yourself more progressive than the one who is in da, 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 da at 12 midnight. Hey. Because there's no relationship. Jonathan, no, not if we exactly. <laughs> allow you, <laughs> you're going to push the entire yeah. <laughs> show. But there's something you mentioned interesting and I observed. There's a time in church, the pastor, pastor's wife, mm -hmm. and the entire church, yeah. uh, it's a teen's church, yeah. they came wearing crocs and sweatpants. Yeah, so. And you know, m my sister went to that church for the first time that day. Yeah. And she's a Gen Z. She went and uh, I was texting me. Hey, who kuwatu amevani? People are wearing Crocs. I don't have. I don't have sweatshirts. I came wearing officials. I had to pack Crocs, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. sweatpants, sent to her. Correct. So she be. She she can match. You know. Yeah. Anyway, Gen Z are special. Those yeah. ones. Are, yeah. Those ones are special. But that call, Jonathan, mm. stick to that because yeah. that kind of growth. Yeah. Most of the people are missing out on yeah. them, yeah. especially the we are really missing out on them. Yeah. 
when it comes to work, when it comes to church, yeah. so many people are missing. If that's your, hey, stay there, stick mm -hmm. there. In fact, call them to worship. Yes. Let, them, they, let them come to worship, worship. In, at Rock West. Sour. Yeah. Uh, that's why I worship. <laughs> <laughs> Rock West, guys. Rock West. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about music. Yeah. From Ekele to Nani G. We call it Gi. Nani, Nani G. Gi. Gi. Yeah. Yeah. In Nigeria, it's Gi. Gi. Ah, okay. in Kenya, it's Gi. Nani yeah. G. <laughs> but anyway, you took a lot of time, like a a period of one year, yeah. a gap of one year where you're not doing music. What was happening during this one year? Process. Process. Mm -hmm. In that same process, at some point, I was recording. So yeah. I'd recorded a few, like say five songs, but mm. you just told me it was in time. You, d you haven't released those five mm. songs? Mm. Yes. Nani is one of them. Ah. Mm. So we did. sometimes when God leads you to the studio, mm. doesn't mean automatically release it. Oh, mm. If okay. he leads you there, mm. he's cook he has been cooking something with you. He says, let's go drop this. And archive it mm. and then because he's a god of time and season he'll tell you when in fact nani gi was not even on the list of songs to be released god mm. told me take this let's do this mm. and that's how it has been mm. but in that process it's been amazing because one of the things he showed me is yes you have the voice mm. yes you may by now have the name mm. but without me you're nothing mm, exactly and that's one of the things i pray we ministers get to understand that Wherever we find ourselves today, we didn't get there ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if he got us there, then there's a master plan. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a thin line between working in alignment with Christ and doing your own will. So one of the things God has shown me is, the reason why you glow is my light that is in you. <laughs> so if he's the reason why I glow, mm -hmm. and I've recorded five songs, I need to wait for the master planner to tell me when. To release the song. God, which one do we really? <laughs> oh, Nanigi, okay. <laughs> Nanigi, good thing. With that, uh -huh. The package behind each song mm. is delivered to the people. Mm. The moment you take it off God's plan and you do that, it becomes a sound you released, but he yet doesn't have the potency to do what he needs to do in the lives of people. Mm. That's what God has sh shown me this week. So yeah, I've been, the whole one year, I was working, we were recording, I was traveling, record, come back, just keeping the songs down. Mm. And now is the time God tells me, let's, Mm -hmm. Let's give that. Let's release it to the atmosphere for the people. Amazing. Yeah, and I came out. Yes, I looked at the video. Watched the video. Mm. Hey, the standards, they are they are here. They are here. We, <laughs> we are God. trying to catch we up. We thank God and we thank Ian because <laughs> he's also here with me. Ian, Ian is, is an amazing. You guys should check him out. He's yeah. Kenyan. People are yeah. asking, Do you, is he Nigerian? I said no. He's a Kenyan. Kenyan. I shot it. An uh, amazing guy. Uh -huh. um, his name is Ian Maroy. Mm. You guys should check him out. Mm. You can check the internet, check the video. Mm. You see his name there. Look out for him. He's an amazing video. Guy. So it was mm. shot in Kenya. Life. My goodness. Mm. Go <laughs> check out that video. I was like, Jonathan, this one is, are we in Nigeria? Right. Or yeah. Ghana? <laughs> <laughs> or we went to the UK, came back to South no, Africa, no. then landed yeah. in Kenya. Kuba is just in Kenya. Mm. It's amazing. The video production is good quality. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why go. Ian? Yeah, Ian. <laughs> you know, the funniest about Ian is, yeah. how will I explain this to you? It was divine. Mm -hmm. When God tells you, I have sent this guy to you for a reason, you guys work together. Now, it's one thing for you to be speaking the language. It's nothing for the person to come and speak the similar language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he had his own dealings with God. And God had told him, God had told me, and then we began to work together. Mm -hmm. So Nanigi is the first of many that we'll be doing together for the world to see what God is doing. Mm. Yeah. Nani Gi means what? Only you. Nani Gi is Igbo. Uh -huh, Igbo. Uh, Igbo. It's like the Kikuyu, but uh -huh. Nigerians. Yes. Yeah. So Igbo, uh -huh. Nani Gi means only you. Mm. Nani Gi Kam Ge Fe means only you will I follow. Mm. Nani Gi Kam Ge Sonazu, it's only your back mm. I will follow. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a, a vow renewal, basically. That's um. to see, you have proven to me that he is the end of search for true love. Mm. He is the full definition of true love because the truth is every love we have tried to find by ourselves, either gives us heartbreak, that gives you depression, <laughs> your heart is playing mm. seven, the head is playing hip hop, <laughs> you're just having different things playing in your head. But you see, he comes and he gives you peace, he gives you hope, mm. he makes you feel loved. Yeah. And then you see, I told someone, I read Genesis, and Genesis said, mm. and, and, and Adam. Mm was created with God. Mm. When he got to find the wife, God put him to sleep. There's a reason why. Mm. This one, we don't need your eye. Your eye will fail you. <laughs> yes, lie down. And from mm -hmm. his rest, yeah. he woke up to find the woman. Where am I going to with this? Until you find rest in God, in regards to that area called marriage or relationship, you will go into error. And that's what Nanigi is reminding us of. If we're looking for anything, 
look up to God. Hallelujah. It's the final de definition of love. Mm -hmm. Yes, to release Nanigi to the world. <laughs> <laughs> to the, receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May Amen. this song take you places you've never entered. Amen. May it open doors that does you have never imagined. Amen. I love this song. I listen to it. First of all, I just, you released that teaser pale on, on IG. Yeah. And I watched it. I was like, huh. This one is coming. <laughs> it is coming the way it is giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me talk like a Gen Z. This one is giving. It's giving. It's giving. giving. Yeah, it is slapping. <laughs> it's slapping. Ah. Wow. My goodness. God bless you, J Jonathan. Thank you yes, so maybe you can mention where people can find the song and where they can support you as well. Okay, so mm. the song is found on all streaming platforms. I would support you guys to go on Spotify. Spotify is titled Nanigi. Nanigi is N A N I G I. You guys call it Nanigi, we call it Nanigi. Um, it's available on Spotify, Boom Play, Apple Music, everywhere. Deezer, and then on YouTube is available. Please subscribe. The views are doing amazing, the likes are doing amazing. I love your support and, and love. Um, but you can also support us further by streaming and subscribing on YouTube. My name is Jonathan Kome, J O N A T H A N. Kome is K O M E. That's the name on Twitter, on, on TikTok. Yes, we are there. We're, doing, we're making Jesus famous. <laughs> TikTok, Instagram. That's where just Jonathan Kome, Facebook. You'll find me everywhere. Thank you so much for your love and support. And keep, individually, keep making God famous. The more you do that, the more the mountains find themselves becoming plain. God Amen. bless you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And any greetings, shout outs, salamus? I want to give a shout out to my pastor, Pastor Don Arrowest. <laughs> a shout out to Tabanaku, Reverend Jula, the father of us all. Thank you so much. I want to give a shout out to my friends and loved ones who have supported me also back home, um, Elevation Church. Um, EPOP, the choir back in Nigeria. I want to thank you guys for the love and support. And um, family and friends, basically. Thank you so much. I see what you're doing. Um, I do not take you guys for granted. God bless you. Keep making Christ famous. Keep doing that God has called you to be. At the end of the day, we shall stand with God, taking, getting our rewards, our crown that God has promised us. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So, Nanigi to the mm -hmm. world. It's going to bless us with Nanigi. Yes. Yeah. Nanigi, meaning yeah. only you. Only, only. you. All right. Mm -hmm.